icing at the pro level is when somebody shoots the puck behind the red line and it goes the length of the ice. And the defensive team is the first person to the hash marks that can retrieve the puck first. The ref will blow the whistle. It's gonna be a face off in your own zone. On the other hand, the team that ices the puck, if they're the first people to the, the puck, while well, the, the ref is judgment at the hash mark, they can wave off the icing and then it's no icing to actually retrieve your own puck. So the hash marks are a circle in the defensive zone where the puck got iced to. So the hash marks are right before the end, end of the rink. So it kind of gives them a judgment call, basically. It gives them a second to blow the whistle before there's any collision. So if we're, we're killing a penalty, we're allowed to ice it at any moment. In youth hockey, it's still icing. Uh, but in pro hockey, you're allowed to ice the puck. Another thing with the pro level, an interesting rule change not too long ago, is if you ice the puck, you're not allowed to change. So I was trying to keep teams from just shooting down the puck for no reason. So you, if you're tired, you shoot the puck down the ice, and it's an icing, you can't change. Those five guys still have to stay on the ice.